In this video, we will take a look at how to change multiple values at the same time in Grasshopper. This will also help you when animating things. Here we go. Here we are in Rhino 7 and Grasshopper. Let's take a look at our initial setup. We have a very simple setup here with a cube, which is defined here. And we are to, doing two things to this cube. We are rotating it. We have the rotate axis here. And we are scaling it through this component here. For the rotation, we are doing uh, z from 0 to 90 degrees. So this slider outputs the value here, and here we convert this value from degrees to radians. Scaling comes from here. We have a slider here too, which goes from 1.0 to 4.0, scaling the cube four times. Your setup can be of course, something completely different. But what we are focusing here on is the two sliders, the two values that we want to control, manipulate, and possibly animate at the same time. So how do we do that? In order to control both these values at the same time, we're going to make a new slider, a sort of a main slider. And let's give it 1.00. Okay, so this slider will go from 0 0.00 to 1.00. Great. This will be our main slider. Now we want to move these numbers, these values, this range to something else. And for that, we will use a component called domain. We will actually need two, so I will just copy paste. Now we have two domains. So how do we replace the sliders with this domain? Um, well, the first slider here is from zero to 90. So let's right click on the domain here and go into set domain. Here we will write, we will simply write 0 to 90 and commit changes. Okay, it turns green, so now it's okay. We hover, hover over it and we can see that it is now defined to be from 0 to 90. We do the same thing to this domain here. However, we give it the scaling factor, which is from 1.00 to 4.00. Okay, commit. Good. Now, we need to connect these domains to something, and we will use something called remap numbers. Okay. We will need another one, so just copy-paste. Okay. We'll rearrange all of this soon, so it will make more sense. However, let's take a quick look at this uh, remap numbers component. So here we have something called target, source, value. Okay, well the value will come from our new main slider. So let's just connect, oops, let's just connect that here. And we'll use the same slider for the other one too. Okay. Now, these domains, these are target domains. The ones that we just created are the new target domains. So let's connect these. Okay. Now, let's get rid of the old sliders. Uh-oh, our cube disappeared. Don't worry, it'll be right back. Let's clean up a little. Just uh, align these nicely so that we will see things a little 
better. Okay, now the one here is for the rotation. Okay, let's take this new mapped value to the degree box here. Okay, we can see our box again, so that's working. Let's pull this one. This is the new scaling factor. Let's pull it here. Good, seems to work. Look at that. The cube is now rotating and scaling at the same time. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. How are the numbers being changed by this remap number component? So we have a panel here and let's just first hook the main slider to the panel and we can hear, we can see that the uh, value is zero when it is when it is uh, at its minimum value and we're bringing it up and okay it goes to one okay well that's expected now let's take a look at this scale, um, rotation uh, uh, remapping component here let's take the new mapped value let's connect this to the panel okay so let's remember our rotation is from 0 to 90 now the main slider is at 0 so our rotation is 0 okay that's good now we are bringing the main slider up towards 1 and the mapped value goes to 90 so it is working correctly it is following the min and max values defined here in the domain if we take this to 0 0.50 it is 45 degrees that's how remapping and domains work quick side note here if you remove the limit knob value from the knob controller you can spin it around to your heart's content. I was hoping to maybe replace a slider with this and animate it uh, indefinitely, but it doesn't work well with the uh, remap number component, nor can you animate it.